and and then there are we spice of lifers. So okay, so I can I can touch upon this in the last few minutes we have for this call. So when we talk about spice of lifers and we talk about disorganized attachment, it is the same spectrum, but it's on high volume. So it's a fast cycling, okay? And it, it, and it, it sometimes becomes such a fast cycle that you experience that sensation of wanting and needing and yet not wanting and needing simultaneously, but it's a fast cycle. Okay, and it's like, and the intensity is high because of the momentum that that generates. The, the, um, I'm doing this, so I must mean friction. But, the, but the level of dissonance that's happening when you are both wanting and not wanting something at the same time, and that is because the pain and pleasure pathways that were lit up at the same time at some point in your early attachment experiences are highly activated. That is when you have experienced that your source of attachment, your source of survival, your source of love and comfort, or at least the supposed source of love and comfort um, and mirrored re reflection was also a source of threat. And, and so in, the, in instances of severe trauma, when that is early enough, when those messages of, of those confused messages of you are supposed to be my attachment figure, but now you are also my source of threat. You're supposed to be my source of safety, but you are also threatening to me. Then that, that especially if that's preverbal, then the body is in an uproar. And it doesn't, it's not able to attain a sense of stasis well enough that it can start to organize the inner life and the inner space through things like symbol through things like words. So when you have someone who can't talk about how they feel, um, and oftentimes I find this is true, particularly for people who have, let's say trauma or severe attachment experiences, when you ask them how they feel, it's like telling them to go look into the black abyss and tell me what you see without being afraid, right? It's just, it's not fair. Um, and it's, it's not sensitive to the experience. And so the work that, that, that I think is especially useful, particularly in the realms of creative arts therapies, is that is understanding that when you are speaking to someone who has that level of what I'm going to call affect dysregulation or emotional dysregulation or whatever, they, that early experience of being able to name the different parts of what the body's telling you and assign a feeling label to it wasn't afforded in the same way. And so, so what creative arts therapies and play therapy and things like that do is they bring you back to that early stage of development and they allow you to re-engage with the natural process that would have afforded you the ability to go in and organize that abyss before someone tells you to start exploring it okay um so and the body is part of that as well and if you are someone who struggles with disorganized attachment or what i call spice of life attachment I would also emphasize that when we talk about being traumatized, there's two forms of trauma. There's developmental trauma, and there's which is little t trauma, and there's big t trauma. So little t trauma is like years of getting the same repetitive message over and over and over again. And sometimes it could be in the form of something that looks normal, but in the experience of that child, it's traumatic. It's a constant splitting away of the self, okay? Then there's big T trauma, and that is like a major event. So warfare, um, natural disaster, it could be more severe forms of abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, things like that. Then, and usually, there's a layering of both, especially if there's big T trauma, there will probably be a layer of little T trauma added on top of it. So this is when we start talking about what's called a window of, of tolerance, window of tolerance, it's basically your threshold for how much we can start to tap into the material or the, they're actually called affect states, but the way, the energy that has the charge that got tied up in your body around that experience, how much we can start to tap into it and play with it and titrate some of that charge so that you can start to experience a relaxing to and expanding into your body and into your sense of self and into your fullest circumference in such a way that it feels safe, it feels gentle, it feels like I can survive this. 
And so the process may come to you in that way, but your experience of it may feel painful because on some level you're going to have to look at and lean to lean into painful feelings and to take that in. And this is where the consciousness raising becomes really useful because when we talk about consciousness raising, it's about adopting certain beliefs. And so sometimes people, Spice of Lifers, especially I've noticed, really have a lot of negative beliefs about themselves. They have a lot of negative beliefs about the possibilities for themselves. And I think that oftentimes, and sometimes they even get them from professionals. And I just feel like that's such bullshit, you know, like, like, yes, all of the things are possible for you. If you can build it, they will come. All of the things are possible for you. But it may be, maybe it's harder because of the, obviously, if you've been growing up in a warm, loving environment, it's easier to understand that warm, loving people and things and resources are available in the world. If you grew up in an environment that wasn't like that, it's a lot harder to see that because it hasn't been your experiential, it hasn't been your experience, okay? But there are things you can do and inspired action steps that you can take that put you in the vicinity of starting to witness those things and then also making the choice that that's not going to be your narrative. And then and then it starts from there and then it will grow. But, you know, um, it, you can't just take someone who's been struggling for so long with this and be like, well, I'm just going to pair them with a secure person and then all of a sudden everything's going to be fine. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. M secure people aren't miracle workers. And in addition to that, you can't, it's, it's a perpetuation of the same issue, which is you are sourced, you are trying to source your sense of self from something outside of you. And it, it's just, you're gonna wind up in the same kind of place. Um, and you know what, even that's not bad per se. I don't believe that's even a waste of time because even in that experience, you're gonna, butt up against a contrast that is showing you something about yourself and your practice and or method of, of looking at that and allowing it in and having a dialogue with it and, 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 and trying not to write some kind of negative narrative around it, that is going to become an exercise and a, a process that is going to help you flex that muscle. That's going to help you build some of that internal vocabulary and language that will help you answer that question, which is another one here, which I will probably talk more about in the next video because I'm coming to the end of my time here. But the question that, how do I know if I'm just having a, a reactive attachment? How do I know if I'm just responding impulsively to my attachment system versus having a genuine intuition about something? The more you can be in practice with what we talked about, I think it was in the last question, then meaning in practice with having that dialogue with the inner self and the inner being, being aware of whatever your window of tolerance may be, and then maybe each time opening that window like just a little bit more, that is a muscle you're going to start building. And as long as you're willing to be in process with it, you can be in, you can find someone who's equally willing to be in process with you you don't have to like reach the state of like ultimate enlightenment and and what there is no external standard for this even secure people have experiences of being insecure there's no like holy grail that you have to like accomplish before you can start living your life and feeling good about yourself like start doing that now right like reframe your beliefs um, and once you can reframe your beliefs, then then you have much more inspiration and motivation to start doing the things that may actually affect some change. And yes, it may require being okay and comfortable and leaning into some uncomfortable feelings every once in a while. But this, oh, and this touches upon the other thing I want to talk about, which was like this notion of um, law of attraction and having to be positive all the time and whatnot. It's It's also, I think, there's a very surface understanding of positive approach. If you, if, if you are making the choice and leaning into uncomfortable feelings because you are operating under the positive belief and understanding that if I lean into these un uncomfortable feelings from the perspective of these are not bad, these are just an aspect of me, and I even if they make me uncomfortable, I am going to approach them from the perspective that working with them, dialoguing with them, and understanding that this is sharing something with me about myself and my experience and that that is okay even if in the moment it's stimulating some uncomfortable feelings for me overall that is a positive approach 
that is the, the greatest acceptance of spirit and of yourself as being an expression of source energy and connected to all that is in an immortal ball of light, love, and compassion that you are, that is the greatest acceptance of that that you can express. It is a positive approach. So some people call it shadow work and they think, oh no, that's going into all the bad stuff. You're gonna ruin your vibe and you're gonna screw up your law of attraction manifesting power. That is a very unsophisticated interpretation. Okay, so, so I hope that I've made that more or less clear. I'll probably get into that a little bit more in a lengthier video later on. 